Nietzsche, perhaps like no other philosopher before or since, has been psychoanalyzed to death. In the first place, by Lou Salome herself. But Freud also tried his hand, along with Stefan Zweig, Bertrand Russell, Rudiger Safransky, and a long list of biographers. And Nietzsche's life story is of course the perfect breeding ground for such an analysis. Here we have a solitary, mountaineering, brilliant philosopher, plagued by ill health all his life, yet espousing a vigorous philosophy of strength, an iconoclastic genius taking the hammer to all Western philosophy before him, living a tumultuous love life, traveling all over Europe, yet preferring to keep to himself, striking up both a friendship and bitter rivalry with the foremost artist of his time, Richard Wagner, all before finally succumbing to a mental illness, source unknown, and spending the remainder of his life in a demented state. <laughs> 